Hey, Mike and Mike's back. Today I am reviewing the drop-ins by Corntrix Cornell. Let's go ahead and dive in and start with the design. And this is their, their logo. The C with the bagger throw in the bag. That's their standard logo. I love the fact, the simplicity, they just put their logo on here. It just says drop-ins. It's simple, but it's identifiable. You know, I, I, one thing I look for in design, I like unique designs, but I also like designs that when I see a bag, two, three, four boards over, and I see someone throw it, I can just look at it and, and pretty quickly identify what bag it is. You see this, you're immediately going to know it's a corn tricks bag, because there's no way not to know. You're going to know that. It doesn't take long to figure it's a drop-in one. You, you can tell by the carpet material. Or you're going to quickly go, oh, that's that drop-in, so you're going to know what it is. So I love the fact that it's simple, it's identifiable, it's unique. Uh, they do have quite a few different color options. In fact, before I did this video, I went on their website, and I think they had nine different color options out there for you. So they have quite a few different colors. I did notice they also do custom designs as well. So if you if you have a design you want to put on there, they'll do that for you also. Um, so all in all, I, I love the design. Material-wise, we'll start with the slow side. This is that herringbone carpet that everybody's been craving right now. The, the, the BG Sorcerer is made really popular. The Wizard is used for a while. The Fallout X has used it. Uh, the Reynolds Renegade uses it. There's a lot of companies trying to come up with this material. And for good reason. It, it's a very player-friendly material. And so it, it fits a lot of different play styles. It's a great transition material for carpet baggers who want to get a little bit faster bag or fast bag players who want to get a little slower bag. It really fits a lot of different play styles. It's very versatile. That's why everybody loves it. Uh, the, the, the one thing that's hard to nail down is speeds on this. This is such a... It, the speeds are very dependent upon how you break the, the material in and how you want it to play right you can really control this and what i mean is if you keep this material kind of kind of smooth not a lot of fudge you keep it pretty clean it's going to play a little faster and, and to me it plays you know on that case you're gonna play like a five and a half six speed um these are probably i i'd probably say five and a half that, that that's where these are playing these are still pretty new they're still pretty clean they were playing about a five and a half that, that which is a great speed for running backs on the board or boards get a little slow you can play you know kind of still play with them uh, but if you want these to be slower, you can actually take, you know, take two of these bags, put the carpet sets together and just mash them together, rough them up, you know, put them on your carpet in your house and just grind them in the carpet. Really get this material to really fuzz up, rough it up, get it dirty, get that sweat and dirt and grime in there and don't clean them. And that's going to slow this down. I've seen this material play as slow as like a three and a half if you really want to. So anywhere from like a three and a half to a six is your speed range. It's really hard to nail this down, but but that's also makes this bag fun, right? You can have two or three different bags of with the same material and depending on how you rough this and how you break this carpet in you can have different speed options for you so that's what's kind of fun about it right uh, to me typically i'm gonna call it a five and a half speed i think corn tricks calls it a four and a half again it, it does board conditions and and climate and a lot of stuff does make a little bit of difference to it not a lot because this is also playable in a lot of different conditions in fact that's another great thing about this is as board conditions change it still plays pretty true and i know that doesn't that seems kind of counterintuitive or it kind of contradicts what i said about the speeds or fluctuate and it's hard to nail speed down but what i mean is is whatever speed you've got this to say you got this playing at a five speed for you and boards start slowing and sticky it's still going to play pretty close to a five like it still pushes through humanity it doesn't slow down as much even when boards get fast it's still pretty controllable it's not going to speed up a lot so it, whatever speed you get this at it's pretty consistent and you can play it you know if you're in an, an environment where you know, you may you may have the, the fast boards during the day and as the sun goes down to it to drop, so it's really humid really quickly and the boards start to stick up and you can still st it stay the same bag through that whole condition if you want to. So it, it, that's another, you know, that's why this bag is so popular is because of the versatility of it. A lot of things you can do with it, a lot of play styles. So wonderful material. One thing I'll mention real quick before I jump off of this is anytime uh, a company uses this herringbone carpet, they have to put a backing on there, right? And that backing is another material, kind of makes it thick. And so a lot of times you get these bags that are really tough to break in at first. I will say when I got this bag, it was pretty well, it felt great right out, right out of the bag. I probably could have just took it out, threw it for a while and broke it in. I did do just a quick OG toss saw streaking on these just to kind of get some of the crispness off of them, but it didn't take much at all. I mean, these bags are just, I mean, they feel great right out of the box, which is tough to do. So whatever the backing material that, that Cortex is using, it, it it really is a pretty thin pliable material and, and I, I like the way it feels and i really like the way that it plays in in in, in um, unison with this material so fast side on this this is that game changer surefire fast side it's it's a fast but controllable material it's a it's an eight speed i call it but it's probably more like an eight and a half it's a faster eight uh so you're looking at you know i, I would say a five and a half eight and a half speed i think corn tricks is four and a half eight and a half so we're somewhere, we're somewhere in that range looking for this on this material in this bag the template, it's, I don't call it a medium template, it's, it's probably on the smaller side of medium, you know, it may be just a touch smaller, but it plays like, it, to me, it plays like a medium style bag, right? I'm going to call it that medium template. It's got a medium amount of filament. It's got that flat disc fill. 
So if, for those of you who like that disc, you get that great fluid hand feel, you get the forgiveness, the soft landing on the boards, you get all that with this bag. It's still got a decent amount of flop to it, right? I mean, it's got a fair amount of flop, and these bags really aren't fully broken. They're going to break a little more, so you might get a little more floppiness out of this. So it's not, by no means, it's not a floppy bag, but it's also not a full bag at all. It really, I, I'd like, I really like the template, and I like the amount of feel. I think they've kind of hit that ratio perfect on this bag, because I just think it plays wonderfully with, with, with the way they designed this. And, and let's go ahead and jump into playability on this. And this is a bag that is very versatile, which is why that herringbill carpet is so popular, because... You can do so much with it as far as your play style. You know, if you want to run bags in the hole, you can run bags in the hole with it. And that's typically for me, when I pull out a bag like this, I, I'm looking for a bag that I can just run bags in the hole, put my four bags in, outscore my opponent, and just beat them round and round. And then occasionally I'll throw a blocker or change the game, I can do it, right? If I want to play a stickier, dirty style game, I'm probably going to go with a little bit stickier carpet. But if you're a fast bag player and you're looking to transition into a carpet bag or you're wanting a slower bag or you're wanting some kind of bag when boards get fast, this is awesome because this is going to play like your fast bag, but yet it's going to play a little slower. So you, if boards get too fast, you can still control this. If you're a carpet bag player and you're wanting a bag that's going to play a little faster because maybe the boards get a little slower and too sticky and you're having a hard time pushing your, your sticky carpet bags, you can pull this bag out and you can still play your carpet style game with it in those conditions, right? It's That's what's so great about this. Blind draws. You know, it, it, no matter who you get as a partner, anybody can throw this bag because... Th this is right in that sweet spot for, I think, everybody, right? I mean, it's not crazy fast. It's not crazy slow. So that's what makes this bag so wonderful. And in a bag that I think everybody should have some sort of bag with this material in their backpack because there's going to be a situation where you're going to want to use it where you can use it. Um, but for me, like I said, I like to pull this out when I'm looking for a bag that I just want to run bags in the hole, put my four bags in, and outscore my opponent. I think this is wonderful. This bag does a great job because, again, that, that flat disc in there, it gives you that forgiveness of the landing, right? When your bag lands, it doesn't really kick at all. So even if you don't throw a flat bag, this bag is not going to punish you like a traditional carpet bag. A traditional carpet bag is going to kick on you, hard to control. With this, you've got that flat disc. This carpet is pretty forgiving. It's going to land pretty flat and run pretty straight. You'll get a little bit of a kick to it here or there, but it's nowhere near as bad as a sticky carpet bag. You can also cut this bag to some degree, right? You can get, I was able to get some cuts. You're not going to make those crazy hard cuts like you would with a stickier bag or with a little bit bouncier fill, but you can do those, those shot shaping cuts with it. If you're able to throw roll bags, you're a roll bag player. You're not going to have any problem rolling this bag. It's definitely rollable materials, a rollable style bag. For those of you who are not roll baggers, this is probably not the best bag to learn on um you're gonna want a little bit balance to your bag i really like this bag for playing get arounds yeah so you know i, I don't necessarily have to push through someone's block but if there's a block i can kind of kind of cut around cut into bully their bag out of the way get around them and sneak in and leave their bag and make them collect it the fast side is plenty fast enough that if i do need to collect a bag two bags whatever i can flip it over throw slick side and push through the congestion and typically follow in and and, and take my bag in as well so it's it's, it's definitely a collectible bag you know, because it's got enough fullness here that when you throw that blocker, if you do put a blocker up there, you can get a little more aggressive and get across that center line of the hole and get more on your opponent's side. Because when you go to collect, you're just clipping the corner and taking it in. It's not going to bunch up according up like some floppy bags would. It's really easy to collect. I mean, there's honestly, there's not a lot negative I, I, about this bag. I, I love throwing it. I love everything about it. The, the, the one downside, the one negative, maybe I would say, is it's not a stamped bag. So if you if you if you play in ACL events or you're gonna, your ACO events come up next year, you're going to need a stamped bag for those. Maybe that's the only reason you wouldn't get this. But other than that, I, you know, if you if you if if you don't have a herringbone carpet bag in your arsenal and you're looking to add one, I, I can't recommend the drop-ins enough to say go check them out. And the best part about it, getting to availability and pricing, is the price. These bags right now are $49.99. On their website i think it's plus shipping on top of that but for 50 bucks i mean that's 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 a no-brainer go 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 get yourself a set now corn tricks did tell me they're upgrading from their equipment and the prices are probably going to go up to 60 or 65 dollars once they get the, the equipment upgraded so i would recommend to you right now if you have any interest at all in getting a harry most all carpet maybe you're looking at a set of sorcerers or a set of follow x's and you're you're curious about whether or not you're going to like them 50 bucks go hit corn tricks cornhole go hit their website um i'll put a link description i don't remember i'll put a, i'll put a link right I'll, I'll put the website right down here but i'll also put a link description just to just so you can click on it but um go check them out grab yourself a set 50 bucks i promise you you won't be disappointed it's an amazing bag at that price when i went on the website they had a bunch in stock i don't know how available they typically are um i, I would just say if you want them go get them quickly because at that price i can't believe they're going to sit there very long it's a phenomenal bag for 50 bucks i just i mean wow <laughs> I absolutely love it, and it's one of the reasons I love these reviews. I love funny bags like this that, that I didn't know were out there, and then I go, 
how does not how does everybody not know about this bag? So please go check out Corn Tricks. Um, I also have another review. The um, the Blucifer is another bag of theirs I got coming out. This review will probably come up in the next week or so. So keep an eye out for this. This is a little bit faster bag. I think you're going to want to watch this one as well. So anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support.